point to someone who lived a life for Christ, it all points back to Christ. Pope John Paul II was very much a man of encounter, and I think that he's someone that we need to constantly look to in order to discover that in a new generation. I really, really was impressed by the shrine. It really helped me enter into the magnitude and depth of everything he did. There's so much about John Paul that I don't know about. There were all these stories and visits to numerous countries, and I just had no idea how much he accomplished in his papacy and in his life. The way he reached out to the youth and his message at, at that time that really touched me was, do not be afraid. And in my life, I was just engulfed in fear. It really put some fire in me, some motivation, and he was really the main reason for my conversion back into the church. This Pope showed you how to love people, and he could love people in the hundreds of thousands, and he showed love to individual people. You can see how truly normal he was from his earliest days. He was athletic. He was a good student involved in drama and theater. Why was he like this? You know, why did he have this joy? Well, for God. You also get a sense of his spiritual nature and his mystic nature and get to experience his first-class relic. In our Catholic faith, the belief of saints is such a concrete thing. These are real people who had real bodies with blood, like John Paul II's blood is in the relic. And that's a very real thing. It makes the faith very concrete. So much of what people were captured by John Paul II was the personal encounter that they had with him, and so you're really able to have that sort of encounter. A lot of people can say, oh, it's so hard to be a saint. That was for people in the past. Saint JP too, he went through all of those things that would have been very difficult to say yes to Christ, but he still said yes. It's very inspiring. This is a very deep and profound experience and place to make a pilgrimage to.